Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm making a bamboo background for my Madagascar giant day gecko enclosure. First, before I started, we cleaned all sides of the enclosure. And here are the materials that we are going to be using for this project. And we started off by getting some bamboo from Hobby Lobby and cut it into 22 inch pieces. And they cut it in half. As you might know, um, bamboo has chambers inside of it and we are using the smallest chamber from the point we cut it like towards the top so that if bugs, water, or like the lizard tries to get in there it is not going very far. So we are going to start off by doing a thin layer of spray foam on the bottom and then putting the bamboo inside of that and it's important in that order because if you put the bamboo in first and then use the spray foam uh, to hold it in. It's going to expand over the bamboo and then you won't see it at all. And all of the work you did cutting it um, into 22 inch segments and in half all went to waste. So let's get started on that. So we are using Great Stuff Spray Insulating Foam um, for gaps and cracks. And we are spraying it in a vertical manner similar to how the bamboo will be laid out. And my dad is spraying because I haven't used this too much and he has a lot more experience in using the foam and how it works and expands. Completely contrary to how it's behaving right now, but uh, just want to clarify, my Bigfoot hands are not mine. Now that we have the spray foam in there, I'm going to take these pieces of bamboo and put them in here. And I'm again going to make sure that the smallest chamber is towards the top. And I'm going to just put it in here where I want it. Just kind of lightly set it down. Oh, or drop it. That's cool too. Just push it down a little bit. And on with the next one. Make sure the smallest chamber is towards the top. Pushing it in a little bit so that the spray foam holds it in. And on to the next four. So now that the bamboo is all placed, we wait for the spray foam to dry, and then once it dries, we're going to have to trim it, because as you can already see now, while it's still wet, it's above the bamboo here at least. Actually, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera through the glass, but right here, it's a little bit above the bamboo, and then it's going to expand, fill in a lot of these gaps here on the sides, and come up as well, and we're going to have to trim all this to how... We like it, and we'll see how it goes. So now it is day two of the bamboo background project, and um, off camera we already trimmed everything, and we already put silicone in this dish. And you have to be kind of quick with it, because it does dry rather quickly. And we are using latex gloves, because we found it's a lot easier to use with latex gloves than... Um, I guess brush because you can really get into the cracks and since it does dry quickly when it's on the brush it will um, harden and make the brush pretty much useless. So you want to make sure you get in all the cracks that you, you want it in so that when you put the coconut fiber on top of it then it sticks there. Yeah. So, I'm going to use my other hand and try my best not to spill everywhere and just put all this coconut fiber on there. And since it's wet, 
it will stick to everything that's wet and then all the extra stuff where you can just uh, tilt the tank up and all the extras will fall over we can collect those again and spread it to somewhere else in the tank so now I'll keep on going with this and it will take multiple applications before you get the right stuff that you want um, because even like that, with all of the extras I dumped on there, it's not going to be perfect. So you want to go back over a couple of times and then just put a little bit more on that. And try your best to avoid the bamboo. You could probably cut it off with um, like a box cutter or something or a pocket knife. But um, we haven't done that yet or I haven't seen that I did that yet. So don't know how exactly that will look. But we're going to finish this up and then we'll show you guys what it looks like. This is day three of the bamboo background project. Off camera we put some more coconut fiber on the areas that we felt like needed to touch up. And we didn't do anything down there because it's all going to be covered in substrate and you're not going to see it. And we also put these leaves up here to give it some more color, make it more visually appealing. For not only the camera and just for the enclosure itself once we're done. These are some pieces of bamboo, uh, this here as well, that we have made a video on before where we cut the bottom off of a milk jug, set the bamboo in, and then used more spray foam to hold it in. And we cut these little, like, holes or, like, whatever there. I guess they're called holes. <laughs> That's a blooper. But, uh, we cut those little holes there to hold some bamboo. And this zip tie is here. So we, when we put in this piece of bamboo, um, it holds it in place while we spray foam it and this zip tie will be cut and taken out before the lizard is ever put back in here. And I put the zip tie on before the second piece of bamboo was taken out so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get on. There we go. That's not perfect at all but I'm keeping it like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of spray foam down on the bottom to make sure that these pieces stay where we want them so that when the lizard is jumping around onto these pieces of bamboo, it doesn't move at all. And then after that dries, we're going to touch up with some substrate because we don't have to use the um, silicone and the coconut fiber on that because we're just using normal substrate and that's going to cover all that up for us. And start setting the cage up, introduce the lizard, and we'll be ready to go. So now we're going to start spraying and I'm going to try to get around the bases of the bamboo so that it locks it in place and then around the bottom of the bases as well so those stay in place as well. And as the can says, make sure you're always wearing gloves and protective uh, eye protection on like me. So now we're going to reintroduce our giant Dekako back into his new home and I didn't get the lid quite right so that's why I'm holding on to it and once I get him in there I'm going to talk about um, all the stuff that we did afterwards because I don't want to put any more stress on him in this tiny box and let's see how this goes. So you just saw me reintroduce Harry, my Jane dig I go back into his enclosure. And off camera we trimmed up the rest of the foam once it dried and is now holding everything in place. Uh, including the bamboo that we have sticking up and the platform as a whole. 
Then we also filled it with substrate and all the fake and real plants. And the substrate I use is a combination of organic topsoil and children's playground sand. And we have a, a, a good mixture where it holds some moisture well, it is good for the plants, and it's not harmful for the animal at all. And it looks natural as well. Um, we use pothos as our live plant in there. We just have some fake plants from Hobby Lobby and pet stores that we've had lying around. We put the lights back on, and we are about to reintroduce our cleanup crew, which my dad will get a sh closer shot of later because it's going to be way too hard to do that right now. So these are just a bunch of little orange isopods that we have received. And they do a great job of keeping the enclosure nice and clean. And we also have a water bowl in there for them. They typically don't drink from still water, but we have it uh, in there just as an option. But we do have a sprayer that we have in my giant gecko enclosure, my toby gecko enclosure, and uh, our several other tree frogs that spray water down the leaves for him to drink. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Colshirk. We now we'll have a picture of this project up there on that page as well. And see you next week.